This farm is game changing and will even show you a possible technique to make it a hundred times easier and faster. You see, upgrading your sigils, weapons and masteries is extremely important in Grand Blue Fantasy Relink to actually get way stronger. Doing this normally requires a ton of materials that you go out of your way to farm, but you can skip this if you can find a way to get a lot of Azurite Splendors to instantly max out any sigil to its highest level, the Damascus Ingots to uncap a weapon for free, as well as a ton of mastery points for re-rolling your overmasteries to get that god roll. Well, we actually have a farm for you guys that we only just found that is insane for getting multiple of these items we cannot actually believe it. You may have seen and even farmed the Maniac Difficulty Survival Quest slime peed before. This has you defeating as many slimes as possible within the set timer to get a load of rupees, XP, mastery points and XP books. Well, the thing is, this quest actually has an extremely rare chance to spawn the legendary rainbow slime called the Prismatic Slime. This guy is insane. Defeating him gives you a flat 1 million XP, 10,000 mastery points, 500,000 rupees, a single ambrosia, which can be used for an additional 15,000 mastery points, a flat 500 knickknack vouchers, five of the extremely useful Azurite Splendors to max out your sigils, and three Damascus ingots. This is an insane haul of goodies and is game changing to skip farming those materials for your sigils, weapons and masteries. Here's what we have found from our own extensive testing, but please understand some of this could be anecdotal to our own experience and testing. If this slime spawns for you within the quest, there seems to always be a verbal call out where Vern will pop up and say, Look, it's the legendary rainbow slime. If we beat that sucker, We'll be swimming in treasure. There's still <gasps> it's the legendary rainbow slime. If we beat this that sucker, power. we'll be swimming in treasure. <laughs> On top of this, I have tested this with three different spawns of the Prismatic Slime. It seems to always spawn in the same spot, even when we tested this with a different host. The opposite side of the starting point of the quest will have a raised area above some stairs. It's easy to spot because of the flat closed door at the back, which is different to the starting side, which has the door deeper in the wall. The slime, if you get a spawn, will always appear in the middle raised area of this side, and normal slimes can spawn in the back left and right area of it. So if you hear the call out, we advise running here and checking the middle of the raised stair area so you can beat it within the time limit. On top of this, while it does look like a normal slime before you attack it, it can peek out of the pot so you can see the rainbow effect. But this spawn spot seems to be the easiest way to know where it is as it's always spawned here for us in our tests. The slime is also extremely fast once you attack it, and this can make it easy to miss out on defeating it. I recommend using skills or gap closers to deal as much damage as fast as possible. It's a regular sized slime once you attack it, but it rolls around at super speed and does have that cool rainbow glow effect. You really do want to kill it as quick as you can because missing out on it and the quest ending would really suck. Now we do have some speculation, our own theory as to how this rare spawn can appear even easier and faster for you. I want to emphasize this could be wrong, it could be a bias from our testing, so please don't take this as 100% fact, but I'm going to tell you anyway in case it helps. You see, I spent hours farming this quest back to back. I have over 20 million rupees and I didn't see it spawn one single time. But then me and 26 had a theory. What if the in-game assist mode, which is designed to help players complete content quicker and easier, actually modifies the drop rates or spawn rates behind the scenes? You see, the full assist mode even has a rainbow prismatic icon. Could this be a coincidence? Assist mode is disabled in Maniac and higher difficulty, but maybe the changes behind the scenes could still apply. Well, 26 tested this first by running a solo mission with the full assist mode on, and it actually spawned for him the very first time. I I couldn't believe it. So I turned full assist on, invited him to a duo quest, and then we went out on the slime peed quest, and it spawned for me the very first time. This could be extreme back to back luck. However, a couple hours later, after making some videos and wrapping things up, I opened the game up and ran the quest again with full assist mode on, and it spawned for me the first time after opening the game again, making this three spawns in one day with some gaps and other quests in between. I could not believe this 
this after farming for literal hours and hours back to back the previous night without having it spawn once. So it seems like the full assist mode might make the spawns easier, it's really hard to tell and test it. We also have a theory that there might be an in-game cooldown timer that could be a couple hours or even a full day before it will respawn for you again. We aren't sure how the host of the quest plays into this, more testing is needed and it's very hard to do without being able to see what's going on behind the scenes. But then we decided to do some further testing on this full assist mode. We ran a quest of the final final boss and let me just say, on the very first run we both got the rare weapon item to drop for us, so this could be complete coincidence, but because of this happening to us, I encourage you guys to turn on the full assist mode, give the stampede quest a couple runs and see if you get lucky like we did. It could be nothing or it could be something, we really don't know. But if it helps you get a bunch of these items, then we're happy to recommend giving it a try. Tell us if this worked for you after trying it as we would love to know what you guys think of this and to get a larger test sample size.